Um, I call him Woodrow Wilson, Woody for short, also known as Eric. Uh, he sent us a customers, I believe it's customers, but I know it's customers, soil test. And anyway, and the customer said, uh, hang on, bear with me just a second here. His customer said, um, this field's located in blankety blank, 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 blank. Um, the field has shown performance in raising 100 bushel milo and grows 40 bushel wheat. Uh, has extremely productive bottoms and moderately productive hillsides that have the ability to raise something good and not bring the average down too far. We all have ground like that. Um, we, it's I, I say that because I have fields immediately pop into my mind of, man, it's a great field, and then you go cut that one area, and you watch the yield monitor, your field average just tank. And you're like, gosh, dang it. Anyway, um, the issue uh, he's trying to alleviate is the little zones that are um, calling for a metric lot load of lime. Uh, <laughs> asterisk, asterisk. Yes, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. <laughs> pre- preface with an F. Yeah. Um, as, uh, as in it's calling for an entire semi-load of lime on four acres. And the test results to see the pattern of low crop production on parts of the field that shouldn't have any issues raising something. And it follows the high concentrations of hydrogen... Um, is that over or under fifteen percent? Over, over, oh, over. More is that than, more than? I 15, hate the. Yeah. I hate the, yeah. the, the sideways V's. I. It was bad in school. Anyway, greater than, less than. It was always like fish mouth eats this, and then I. Yeah. yeah. You're a te- Fun facts. Johnny's the teacher. I was a student in school. The ta- the teachers abhorred. Is that the right <laughs> word? Close enough. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And. I mean, I did not do well in school just because I would, dude, I was the kid that was like, just, I don't know, was, I wanted to be out doing something, building something. Geometry was a breeze for me. A breeze. I could build it, I could see it, I could yep. angle it, square yep. it. Algebra failed it miserably year after year after year. And I won't tell the ending of that story until some other time. But uh, I graduated. I have a and here we are. So this little square in the top left hand of the corner had very stunted wheat with little to no grain in the heads this year when the rest of the field was making 50 to 60 and the bottoms were making 80. Is this an issue of just needing to knock that hydrogen off um, and calloid with humic? Or is this simply one of the situations where we just raise or where we just where we just follow the recommendation and use the lime to raise the pH even though the pH isn't that low? 5, 6 to 6, 2. Sincerely, blank, blank. So, I mean, so, so we printed it off. Yeah. Gave it to Johnny. Yeah. We've got the uh, sheet here. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean, his pHs are, his average pH is a 7.5. Yeah, that's a high, mid sevens. Yep. yep. Um, buffer pH is a 7. Average organic matter is a 1.6. Um, his average uh, P two Bray two yep is that yeah Bray is two seventy two parts per million. His potassium is an average of four hundred and eighty three. Uh, average calcium is thirty five hundred. Average mags two hundred and sixty eight. Uh, CEC of twenty one. Um, calcium base saturation calcium average of eighty. That's high calcium. Yeah, no, it's it's a lot of cal. Um, potat- percent pass potassium is five point seven, uh, ten point three percent mag. Uh, average hydrogen is two point nine. The highest spot is twenty eight point five, and the minimum is zero. So Johnny, just looking at this, we haven't walked it obviously. Yeah, one hundred percent. But he's yes. he's yeah. tried to give us an overview of what he's seeing the the field. What are some immediate issues of you uh, that you have seen? I assume the that area, the purple, is the good ground. Yeah, no, it's and you got the poor ground off to the uh, north. Yeah, well, you you even talked west. about you know what the average of the field was. Now, one thing we got to realize is the issues that he's having. I would say our pH average is around probably a high five. Okay, okay. in that the problem in, in the problem area. Yeah. Okay, and then also base at there i would say your average is around higher 50s for calcium 
you're looking at your potassium being like a seven, and then you're looking at your magnesium of above, I would say 17, maybe even 18 as an average in that bad area. Okay. So the first thing, he's telling me symptoms already. So I'm thinking in my head, what possible nutrients are causing that issue? Empty heads. Yeah. Yeah. So you're talking that plant didn't have energy. That plant wasn't converting uh, sunlight into sugar very well. Okay. So that strictly tells me right away, you know, for that process to happen, nitrogen, magnesium, iron. Um, I mean, manganese is part of that process. I mean, there's a lot of elements part of that process, but between nitrogen, magnesium, and iron, that's where I just start. Because okay. those, those are the big three when it comes to sugar The ones we can really f- move the needle with. Well, and it's just, um, yeah, you pull one of those out. That, I mean, the plant's just not going to be able to produce sugar. Okay. You know, I mean, you start with mag. Mag is the center of the chlorophyll molecule. Okay. So if you do not have mag, or mag's not available per se, right? it's going to be yellow and stunted. Okay. Same thing with iron chlorosis. A deficiency in iron, stunted plant, yellow. Um, of course, we've all seen what nitrogen does if you have a little bit less than what you needed. Yeah. Um, so I look at this field. I know it's not iron, number one, because of the numbers. But number two, I mean, if our pHs are below or in the fives or in the sixes, more times than not, iron is going to be available. Okay. So now if you would have flipped this and said my high pH areas was doing the same thing, Mm -hmm. then I would say you're having iron problems. Got it. And that would be a simple fix. Add add some humic acid, add some humates. Um, On higher pH soil, I would focus on more of ammonium form because that'll help drop it. But one thing to know about higher pH. So like an AMS? AMS would help. AMS would help with, yes. on the nitrogen side. On the nitrogen side. Got it. Yep. Because ammonium. Talk sorry, to, talk sorry. To, and NH, NH4 instead of a nitrate. So if you expound would. Expound on the nitrogen part just a little bit. So high, yeah. high, high, uh, high pH and moving to a different nitrogen source say safe for wheat why and and talk about why one over another okay so if i see high phs okay i'm talking anything above a seven five Mm -hmm. so putting in positive forms of nitrogen so nh4 urea is going to help bring down the ph okay because when it converts into the soil it's releasing hydrogen Mm -hmm. and that's what ph is is parts hydrogen Mm -hmm. So you're releasing more, you're increasing your hydrogen parts, which means lower pH. Okay. Okay. Now on the vice versa, if you had like a five, five soil, you have hydrogen. That is not an issue. Okay. So you can utilize nitrate to help make it more alkaline. Okay. Now with that being said, there's a lot more factors. If you're strictly just worried about pH with your crop, that's how you would do it. Um, does that help? Yeah. Does that break it down in yeah, a little so, bit? Yeah, so if you've got, so if a guy has a <clears throat> 7, 5 to 8 pH range, the nitrogen form, and he's raising wheat, mm-hmm. um, the nitrogen form he should go to is ammonium nitrate, if at all possible. Not UA, not, not, for, not uh, urea. Well, you could do, urea as a positive form as well, and you're actually gaining a carbon molecule with that. With, with urea. urea. Okay. Yeah. So is there any, so I guess, tell me, what's the one to steer, is there any to steer clear of in high pH soils, forms of nitrogen? So I get to the point of a plant needs a variety of nitrogen to function properly. We also got to remember that mother nature knows how to do that too. Yeah. You know, a hundred percent. So if you're applying, which is say a hundred percent. My wheat taught us that. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. So, I get to the point here, like, we can't just draw a line saying we're not going to use nitrate. Sure. Okay. But I'm saying if we're using products, if we're using a lot of nitrate, let's tone that down, use, let's say, 50% less nitrate and use the ammonium form okay. to help with that process. Because we got to remember the rhizosphere of these plants can change that pH. Is it two points? You're talking... Okay. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Brett oh, no, this. It's it's two points. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no yeah. the ri- hang on. The rhizosphere around the yes. roots. Yes. Okay. Everything going on around the roots. Okay. Um, and like in my neck of the woods, 
Uh-huh. I've seen it drop three points just because we're dealing with lighter soil. So like from an eight to a five is possible. I have seen it go from like a legit 7.5 to a legit 5.5, if not lower, just on what's going on in the rhizosphere. Whoa. Yeah. I did. I had no idea, but you got to remember that was makes me want to cry. Well, it tells, I don't know why (laughs) I have no, like, (laughs) I don't even know why. I'm like tearing up right now. It's like one of these things that we just had no clue on. Oh, yeah. Why are we not told this? Well, well, hang on. That's conspiracy. We, yeah. don't, we don't want to put yeah. certain uh, individual freaking out on us. Yes. <laughs> but going, um, and I know we're kind of veering here, but. Oh, I, absolutely. I, it's okay. Okay, good. But. Um, Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full-length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major podcast platforms. Um, We're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content. Guys, thanks for watching the content so far. If you would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got all the full-length podcasts, other video information, tutorials on there. Also on all the major uh, podcast platforms and social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, etc. So if you like this, go ahead and check more out on all those platforms.